imagine this is a dick, your head has to go like that. Like a blender kind of Not thing. like a... What was the best blowjob you ever had? Really, you're cheating yourself mainly mm -hmm. out of an orgasm. Tommy showing. Fat pussy like Santa, hands up, fuck shit, ship a table, go Welcome to Private Parts, I'm Venus Libido and this is a show that dives into things all sexy, saucy and naughty and today my special guest is Kush, singer, songwriter and obviously a beautiful god slash goddess. I'm going to get down to the nitty gritty, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Best or worst date or weirdest sex story? I'll give you both actually. Okay, let's go. I will try everything once okay. because I actually think when you've got like a fetish or something it's actually quite sexy because yeah. there's something a bit interesting about you so this guy he was like I really want you to be a dog and I was like okay cool I thought I'd try it fuck okay. it why yeah. not and then he literally like put me in like paws and everything and I was like I'm really not feeling turned right now but if it turns you on right. we can try yeah. it it might hit and then just started getting weird and weird he was like yeah no I want you to actually crawl everywhere and I want you to drink out that bowl and I was like Okay, now I'm, I'm not. But I did it at the time. I was like, why am I doing this? I'm so sad while doing it all. I was like, no dog should be sad. Um, did he make you woof? Yeah. Try and woof and feel sexy. Woof? Woof. <laughs> really? It's, it's not sexy at all. I was like, no. <laughs> well, wow, that's not a woof. I don't think it's weird, it just wasn't for me. So, okay, worst day actually was crazy golf, but no, mini golf. Because you'd think mini golf yeah. would be a really good date idea, right? I remember I got there and I paid for the tickets for golf. I don't mind, it's like, yeah. it comes. And he was like, okay, you bought the tickets, so let me just buy you uh, your meal and one drink. And I was like, oh, you're being quite clinical about oh, this. So it's one really drink? Yeah, but it's just a bit awkward. I was like, oh, you don't, I don't really need you to, but now it's, now it's awkward. So then we're like chatting and he's like, oh, I do accounts. I was like, cool. But he didn't ask me what I did. I was like, start playing. And he was so dry, because then I started winning, and he got really angry at me winning. So then I ended up talking to the date next to me, and just ignoring the boy that I was with. Oh. It was such an awkward day, and then afterwards he was like, do you want to go for drinks afterwards? I was like, I don't think you want to go for drinks afterwards, so... <laughs> no. no! The next question is naughty. What is your fetish? I just love it. I love the idea of role play, and I think it's because yeah. I come from an acting background. Yeah. Um, I remember I dated an actor once. It was so much fun, because, because I, as you can tell, I, like, I'm quite sporadic. I remember once, but I was like, in bed, and he was like, Pin me down. I was like, oh, that's so sexy. But then, I, for some reason, I don't know why, but I felt like I was in a musical all of a sudden. So I was like, Tammy. I started singing. You started singing. Like, you started singing. <laughs> but because he was an actor, he was like, oh, literally, while like, I'm pinned down, I was like, oh, are we going to musical now? So he started like going with the role play. I was like, oh, this is so much fun. This sounds so fun. Sex should be fun. It shouldn't yeah. be this weird, like, I'm not going to talk. I'm like, how do you think you were created? I think you've just kind of touched on this, but are you a top or a bottom? To be honest, I, sex kind of scares me a little bit still. Like, actually, full on penny, I call it a nale, like okay. finale. I like, like role play and fetish and like okay. oral and like, sensory overloads of all yeah. that stuff. What was the best blowjob you ever had? It's only like a really because I'm actually really good at them. Oh, okay. It's What's more your technique? Oh, sorry, I'm my pants, I'm not watching this. Um, <laughs> well, the technique is, it's like, you kind of like, you don't just start, you have to kind of do like a can't do it, it's really embarrassing. So you have to like go like, no, your whole head has to like Oh, go. okay. Imagine this is a dick, your head has to go like that. Oh. It's like a... Like a blender kind of Not thing. like a... <laughs> have you ever seen that video of the lady doing it with a watermelon? Like a grapefruit? <laughs> That's where you have to like, you have to almost like go around, like... One. I'm here with Nadia, our resident masturbation expert. We are going to be sliding into your DMs today to see what kinky shit people have been asking you. This week we have a question from a woman who's in a lesbian relationship and she says, I've been with my girlfriend for almost a year and I've been faking my orgasms. I really want to be honest with her but I've taken it too far. What should I do? The only thing that I can really say is that you need to be honest, honest yeah. um, because really you're cheating yourself mainly mm -hmm. out of an orgasm. Communication is just key, isn't it? Communication is the foundation. The bedroom, yeah. yeah, you have to because it's just like a lot of fumbling around. What might work for me might not work yeah. for you. Our bodies are different. Yeah. You can introduce toys if yeah. you're finding it difficult, yeah. um, depending on what they are doing whilst they're having sex. If she's been a strap-on, yeah. um, it could be a thing where she could have a strap-on that has a clitoral toy mm -hmm. attached to it, or she can use the moxie yeah. and put it in a strap-on yeah. or her pants so she's getting some stimulation. Yeah. There's no shame in having toys 
in the bedroom with mm-hmm. you if that helps you get where you're going yeah. and it also educates your partner to yeah, where you need to be. Thank you so much Nadia and if you want to ask Nadia some kinky questions of your own you can slide into her DMs at am.appointment. Yep. Ah, oh, fuck that. Fight or flight, fight for my life. Fuck it up and fuck it with his psyche. Hey, Kate. It's such a strong heat. We are now going to play Do It Up Your Doodle. This is a Pictionary sex game twist. You're either going to be blindfolded or handcuffed. Your pen's going to be attached to a vibrating dildo. Is it fun? <laughs> okay. Cool, I'm ready to game. Okay, so let's find out if you're going to be... I've got to turn it on. Oh. <laughs> no, no, turn it on, I don't know. That's a strong vibrator, that would hurt. Oh! Blindfolded? Blindfolded. Okay. Blindfolded, okay. Yeah. A half and puff or will you be a raven claw? Handcuffed. Ooh. Okay, so that's cool. We can okay. be opposites. Everyone always has got a really little head. You've got a bit of a tiny head. But the clasp is. Oh, wait, no, I see fur. Oh my god, this is already vibrating in my head right now. <laughs> god, this is what sex is like with straight people, isn't it? You just can't get it in. Where's it? Okay. Wait. Okay, so we have one minute on the clock. Oh, we can do this, do this. Well, that's too, uh, yeah. Okay, one, two, three, one. I have no idea what's going on. I don't know where it goes. I've cheated, I've written the word, if I, I don't know if it worked. Also, why is it... Time. Oh, oh. We haven't even drawn anything! Yes, I have! Oh! You've not drawn it! <laughs> I, was de- I, was de- I was definitely drawing! I have no idea what's going on. I've cheated, I've written the word, if I, I don't know if it worked. Also, why is it... for doing Do It Up Your Deal with me. You're clearly an amazing drawer. Watch out for Casso. <laughs> oh my god. I draw it with a dildo. No, but that is such a good story to tell. Like, oh, I, I draw it with a dildo. Yeah. And that's it. They're like, oh, why'd you draw it with a dildo? And that, I think that's a conversation. I think art should be a conversation starter. Yeah, of course. Um. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kush, for coming on the show. You can find Kush at Kush Ting yes. on Instagram, and you've got an EP coming out this year, is that right? Yeah. You can find you on Spotify. Can we do one with you doing it? Thanks for having me on the show. Um, I'd love to <laughs> thank Womanizer and Revive for all the amazing things they've let us play with today. Um, I'm Venus Libido, and wait until next episode. Take five.